At Carden Primary School in Brighton, pupils and staff use Makaton signing every day throughout the school. Why implement a signing policy? How does it work and how does it help? The school has a speech and language center and it was the work there that influenced head teacher Leslie Corbett. As a school, we realized very quickly that Children who were in the Speech and Language Centre needed some extra help to acquire concepts. They needed the kinesthetic, they needed the visual. And then we thought, well, actually, if they need it, so will so many other children in our school. And we need to extend this privilege to all of the other children in our school and that they need to actually gain from the things we've learnt in working in our Speech and Language Centre. One of the things that I often say to people is it's about concepts. Now, which is easiest for you to understand? It's in front of, or it's in front of. And with the kinesthetic um, and visual element of the signing, it actually makes concept acquisition much easier for all children. So things like visual timetables, all of our classes have them. Sign symbol work, all of our classes have them. All of our classes have um, access to sign symbol on their computers. All of our teachers sign and all of our children sign. When children first join our school, we teach them just a few simple signs to begin with. Those are stop, come, no, and toilet. They're simple instructional signs that enable children who find it very difficult to ask for things in the beginning to ask for things quickly, make friends quickly, settle down quickly. After all, every teacher knows what this means with some degree of urgency. When they first come, the easiest way we find to teach them is to teach them through singing. The clock struck two, the mouse said boo. I think it's a plus, I think it's an added extra, I think, I think it's a real bonus for the children. And I can remember sitting in school and not always understanding what the teacher wanted or expected and by the, using the signing I'm hoping it's making the, everything very clear for the children. Good morning. Makaton signs from British Sign Language are even used for the Good register. Good morning, Martina. Is Martina here today? Hi. And Jamie. Pack lunch or small dinners? Pack lunch. It's fun, isn't it? They're not having to sit still as well, which is another thing. Because if you ask them to sit still and not do anything with their hands, they're going to want to fiddle and, and touch. When we do singing, it, if they're using their hands, they're not thinking about messing about or being silly, they're just joining in and doing, doing the actions. Number eight, open the gates. Number nine, touch your spine. And number ten, do it again. But we're not going to this time, so I'll ask you to sit down. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jordan. Every member of staff in this school is given the opportunity to learn to sign. Um, if you're a teacher, you have to. <laughs> it, it comes as part of the job interview. But if you're a, a cleaner or a midday meal supervisor or a secretary or the bursar, then you can choose to opt in to the, to the signing if you want to. And in fact, the large majority of our staff have opted in. Hello. Let's try biscuit. Anybody remember the sign for biscuit? Biscuit! biscuit. As well as staff training courses, the school runs a signing club. Biscuit. Teachers and pupils can biscuit. practice their signing. You've got it right. Fabulous. And coffee? <laughs> remember coffee? What do we do first? We finger spell the C and then drink. So, coffee. coffee. 
Coffee. With staff, we sign for part of every staff meeting. We have keywords of the week and we sign those words and we practice those words and people ask for signs for particular parts of their curriculum that they need them for. And also we sign in assembly the assembly stories and part of that assembly story is we'll teach the children a key sign for that particular story that week and the children would join in with a key sign during the assembly story. So it's, it's, it's a mixture of key vocabulary learning and immersion. Signing is just one of the visual strategies teacher Jason Hammond uses in his year one class. Signing gives um, children another visual prompt to think about what's actually going on in the classroom. So as well as me just sort of saying we are learning about rooms today, if you've got the sign to actually reinforce what's going on, it helps children sort of cue into what they should be doing. And so is that your that's your TV, isn't it? What are, you going to, what are you going to put into your into your bathroom? Oh, yeah, shower. Oh, shower. I've got a smart board as well, which uses lots of visual things, lots of pictures, and lots of aesthetic and, and kinesthetic learning, which is actually moving things, and that's particularly good for boys um, that find sort of learning a little bit more difficult. Uh, they've got an idea of, of I'm actually moving something and doing something. We also have um, to do with the Mackerton signs. We have something called symbols which is a pictorial form of the sign. So you can also use those to cue in words for the children sort of to, to write or to read as well. So children that find reading difficult have, have got the pictorial clue to, to help them. By year six, pupils and teachers use less Makaton signing in the classroom. When you're older, you don't need it for some of the um, concepts that you needed it for when you are younger. But when a new concept comes along, you need it then. So they'd be using it then. Also, it depends on who they're choosing to play with. Uh, you know, if, if, they're che if they're playing with a child who needs something signed, then they will sign it then. Right there. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to come onto the carpet. I would like you to bring with you your whiteboards. I tend to use Makaton when I'm doing whole class teaching, just focusing on key words. Um, one particular sign that I, I use quite a lot in a number of different subjects is the same and different, um, which can help when there are a number of different words that we use um, that mean the same and different, but by using the same sign throughout, um, it helps the children to, to realise that I'm talking about the same concept. As you're going to be talking, your discussion partner about what bits are the same in the book and the film and what bits are different in the book and the film. I think the whole school approach to Makaton has sort of two benefits really. It firstly removes so it's not just certain children that are using Makaton. All children understand the signs so they don't think it's strange when teachers are using Makaton, they don't think it's strange when other children are using it. But I also think it does help with their understanding of concepts. Um, sometimes without them really realising it when I'm using keyword signing. Amber is a pupil from the Speech and Language Centre, but the use of signing throughout the school enables her to integrate into mainstream more easily. That's fantastic, Amber. Pictures in your head. She has help from a learning support assistant and also using signing from her friend Rebecca. I got back at loads. Oh, 
I help Amber sometimes when she gets stuck on something. Can I help you? Yeah. Like if she's like stuck on a sign or something, I help her sign it. And if she's stuck on a word, um, I sign it for her. And um, <coughs> I use illiteracy most of the time. <laughs> and it helps Amber. It helps both of us, really. Um, I think this, this year Amber has been integrated more into mainstream than she ever has before um, and finds it a bit daunting at first but has settled in very quickly this year and really enjoys taking part in class discussions, wants to be part of all the main activities that we do, wants to be able to say something in the class. Remember, slowly. Amber finds it particularly difficult in class to speak in front of a whole group, to get out her ideas as she's thinking. She knows exactly what she wants to say, um, but it's just actually getting the speech out and actually saying it in front of a large group of people. She tends to find it much easier in small groups. Um, so you'll see when she's working in a large group situation, she'll use both Makaton signing and cued articulation, which is where she uses her hands around her mouth to help cue in the sounds that she's saying um, that make it easier for her to, to discuss things in a large group situation. Um, this would have been nasty to have the room Okay, so Slytherin not playing very nicely the game of Quidditch. Yeah. Is that something that was the same or that was different? Yeah. Okay, so that's something sort of the same in both the book and the film. I think that no matter how able the children are in the class, they benefit from Firstly, a slightly slower delivery because it, you do have to slow down your delivery to be able to sign clearly in a lesson, um, which gives them more thinking time as we're going through a lesson, enables them to sort of really think around the concept area, no matter whether they're the most able in the class or the, the, the less able in the class. I am Pete, my mum and my dad and my brother and my Victor like bit dick um apple orange yogurt drink use <laughs> learning isn't in teaching. Learning's in thinking. Learning's in what happens inside your head as a learner while you're doing things. And actually, the prompt helps the thinking and helps the learning and internalizes the concept. So actually, I feel very strongly that signing really supports learning in a very strong way. And I think it aids learning and makes learning faster, not slower.